Good day guys and girls. So today, again, we're going to be talking about 12 volt batteries, the accessory battery, and the Ford Mustang Mach-E. Mine is a 2022 Mach-E Premium all-wheel drive. Uh, it was bought back in November. It is now uh, middle, late August, just to give you an idea of the uh, amount of ownership or the length of ownership that we've had on this vehicle. So if you've been following along on this channel and maybe some of the posts on some of the Mach-E forums, I had some issues going back about four to five months ago, which was about four or five months of ownership with issues with my 12 volt battery. Now, what was, what was concerning was that I was not finding any information on the internets about uh, what was going on and the main problem that I was having was it was saying alarm has been triggered And yet it's sitting here in the driveway and no one's tried to get into it Shortly after that we were getting the messages about the ele electrical system drain And then immediately after that, like a minute after that, it said something like, plug in to maintain your system. And then immediately following that, it said that it had gone into deep sleep mode. And unfortunately, once the Mach-E goes into deep sleep mode, you can try plugging it in to charge it. It's not gonna do anything. It's, it's basically bricked up at that point, or at least from my experience, it's bricked up so if that ever happens to you all you need is a jumper pack you can pull the cables out here hook up your jump pack to it and it'll allow you access to the front of the Mach-E where you can put on the jump pack and actually get into the vehicle itself so once I had gotten in to the front tried doing all uh, the jumping procedures, the charging procedures. I even had a battery charger hooked up to it. You can follow the, that other video. I'll have it linked at the end of this video. Uh, the battery would not take a charge even from a battery charger. And it was just bricked. It was, it was literally sitting here like you see it now, just doing nothing. So we had to have it towed. I had it towed out to the dealership to which I bought. Uh, it cost us some money to have it towed out there, but uh, it was worth it because we trust that dealership. Shout out to Grogan Ford, now Watford Ford in Watford, Ontario. We're not sponsored by them. So they diagnosed. Uh, they actually had two other vehicles in the garage at the same time. One was a Lightning and one was another Mach-E. And they were experiencing the same exact problems. So the dealership had the vehicle back then for about four or five days. They did their diagnosis. And they determined that in that case, it was a dead cell in that 12 volt battery. And because of that, it wasn't allowing the battery to fully charge. And that kind of backed up uh, the issues that I had been dealing with, especially with hooking up a, a very good, intelligent battery charger. And it wouldn't actually take a charge. It just, it, it literally would not take any charge. So, we were feeling pretty confident everything was good we had that 12 volt battery replaced and lo and behold about six weeks ago we receive the next warning saying electrical system drain so of course we're panicking uh this is my wife's car so she's she's panicking she's got a a new job where she's got to drive twice the distance, approximately 130 kilometers each way. And, uh, you know, we're kind of, kind of freaking out. I'm not going to be, you know, I'm not going to hide it. We were, we were very concerned. Let's put it that way. So luckily enough, this coincided with our first scheduled appointment, which in Canada is at 16,000 kilometers. So we ended up booking in that appointment and approximately a week after that we get the warning again electrical system drain
which was good because um, within a week we were taking it in for our scheduled appointment. So we went ahead, we took it into the first uh, service appointment. They ended up doing a diagnosis on it and the dealership through uh, the reception said that it was actually a BCM or a body control module, which was kind of uh, surprising to me. I thought maybe the B meant battery control module, but from what they said, again, this was through the receptionist, uh, it is actually a body control module. So once it was determined that it was a body control module, the dealership ordered the parts and we set up an appointment to actually go in and get that changed out. And oddly enough, about six days ago, we get the message again, except this time it says electrical system drain. And it said plug in to maintain the 12 volt battery. So what I did is I went into the vehicle, it was on a weekend and I just had it charge to a hundred percent at any point on the weekend. Cause in Canada and Ontario on the weekend, it's the off peak rate. So there was no risk of, you know, paying big fees to charge it. Um, we just went ahead and, and deleted that schedule that we had it on for the weekend. This way it would keep the battery maintained and we ended up taking it into the dealership, which coincided to be the next day and got the BCM replaced. The only uh, uh, issue with getting the BCM replaced, I guess you would say, is that uh, we have to reprogram the uh, keypad on the outside and we also have to reprogram the phone as a key and the backup code for the phone as a key and all that. So that's a very, very small detail. Uh, but we're here today and we've run it for approximately three or four days. My wife has taken it to work again, about 130 kilometers each way. Uh, there was no issues. So right now we are cautiously optimistic that this has fixed the problem. The little bit of research that I've done is that it could be the battery itself that was bad, but they did a test when they did the BCM. They said that the 12 volt battery passed. Uh, it could be the BCM, which has now been replaced. And it could be the, um, there's a high, high output junction or, or something like that. It's an HJV, I think is what it's called. I'm probably butchering that. But um, basically from what I've seen, it can be one of three things. So we've replaced two of them now. So hopefully that solves everything. And some things that we've done in the meantime to kind of help our situation out, and you would have seen this on the last video, is we've remo removed the dash cam. Although the dash cam is still installed in there, everything has been disconnected. That 12 volt battery is very, very small. And I think that might have played into, or at least might not have helped that original battery. Um, although being a dead cell, it's it's gonna die anyway so we removed the dash cams which is unfortunate because we've needed dash cams a lot in the past that's why we have them uh, so we removed that so that it's not draining down the 12 volt battery constantly and another thing that we did and it was only on my wife's car actually that we had done this was uh, we had the battery or the uh, cabin preconditioning set up on that one especially for the winter time Summertime we didn't didn't have it on, but what I've done is I've turned that off because I'm sure that that has something to do with wear and tear on the 12 volt battery. I don't know why Ford has made that battery so small. Uh, I've seen lawnmower batteries that are bigger than that, but uh, here we are. So I hope this has helped you out, give you a little bit of guidance if you're experiencing 12 volt battery problems with your Mustang Mach-E. Um, there's lots of information out there, but there's not a lot of videos out there. And that's why we're making this video. I find that sometimes visually this helps more than a bunch of written content. Um, if this helped you, please think about giving a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button because we do have two Mach-E's 
not to brag, we need them for work. Um, so we're going to be posting content like this quite regularly. So hit that subscribe button, hit the notification button to be the first notified when there's new content up there. If you're looking for flashy videos with a whole bunch of 3D content and cool stuff, this is not the place. If you're looking for a channel that has lots of good information, this is the place. Because I firmly believe that with a little bit of knowledge, some common tools that you probably have around the house, you guys and girls are more capable of, of more than what you think. So remember, you never know unless you bear. We'll see you on the next one. Thank you.